Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. Possible of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a wordy. I forget. Only time will tell. Now, the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Public safety. In case you haven't noticed, my city is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries and strive to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another opinion is that it is the fault of society that, as Plato said, people don't mean to kill each other. It happens because they are poor or desperate or really thirsty or in need of a vacation or something. Another view is that we are all a little confused and really should stay at home, lock the doors and forget about everything as quickly as possible. So, let's press the... different stars. To my right, <laughs> to everyone's right in fact, we have Congressman Alex Shrub, the youngest state congressman ever to be elected by Vice City and now a respected man in the Capitol. Mr. Shrub got elected because he has great hair and says things that make you nod your head. His campaign appealed to the wealthy because he set all of us at ease by finally confirming it's okay to be rich as long as you say you care about the children. Mr. Shrub, Welcome. That's not entirely true, Maurice. My campaign also appealed to the poor, who are too stupid to understand what I'm saying, so I held up pretty pictures and I gave out candy bars to appeal to their most base instincts. Thanks, Maurice. I'm glad to be given this opportunity to set the record straight. I haven't given you any opportunity yet, my heartless friend. Let me introduce my other guest first. I hope this isn't going to get personal. I love Vice City more than anyone, and I can prove it. Yes, that's coming from the man who got elected by calling his opponent a buffalo butt and a fat hen-pecked wimp. When we come back, I'm going to get freaky. Why don't you go pop your nose? I'll be back. Soul music for lovers. Fever 105. Fever. 105. Hi, I'm DJ Smith, tight end for the Vice City Mamas and proud proprietor of BJ's Used Autos. Cars from all over America come to find a new home in Florida, just like you. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not Vietnam, even though they do have a lot in common. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town, a celebrity-endorsed used car shop. That's why I founded BJ's Used Autos. Every one of these views is freshly painted. They look brand new. We have new models coming in every morning, usually around 2 a.m., 